talking to people about, about their predictions of the future. What do you think is in store? Mm, loads of things, so I don't even know where to start from. Um, the impression I got here in the conference and what I really like about it is that um, there's so many things going on in so many areas and it's all becoming more essentially the same thing. So the, the context of it, it isn't any separate areas anymore. Uh, people start, uh, things start to make sense if you put them together in a context. You have this on the technology side with social software and artificial intelligence. Uh, and both disciplines profit from each other. And what was new at the conference is that the same thing is happening with neurosciences, for example, or with economy. Uh, so you got all those same trends from a long traditional background, and they all point to the same direction. Mm -hmm. what, what is your background? What, what's your area of expertise? Um, mainly the application of technologies in organizations, and that's what our business is doing as well. Uh, we bring together semantic web, social software, and information retrieval to help them compete better in a fragmented marketplace. What do you think the future of that technology is? Mm, I think we're getting closer to, to integrated systems. Um, there's a great presentation, there was a great presentation in 1968 by Doug Engelbart. He's here in the audience as well. And uh, what he did back then is, is have this single integrated system and then a lot of things didn't happen in the next 30 years and now we're close to, to what he predicted back then. So, so to uh, have better tools for us to interact with all the information that's out there may be, have been put there by humans or by machines. Ex explain to me a little bit what that integrated system entails, what is it? Uh, we got so many applications right now. We, we uh, use for every task, we use a different application. And certainly uh, now technologies uh, are starting to develop which help you to, to uh, work on one interface and all that. So I think that will, if you want to have an example, for example, Windows Vista will do this. Um, um, if you use Windows Vista or future versions of Mac OS, um, you won't even recognize if you're working on the web or locally on your computer. Uh, and the applications just get simpler because it's, it's more about not doing fancy things but interacting with the information you're dealing with. What do you think the, the biggest thing you came to this conference to look for is? What were you trying to find out? Uh, get an overview of other people's opinions and thoughts and ideas and, and uh, trying to get to know things I don't know anything about. Just a glimpse of perception and that was great so far definitely it, it sounds like you, know, you think you know the future we're gonna have a lot of advances a lot of great things is there anything that scares you about the future mm, I think the future is what we make out of it and and it's always if you see it from a technical innovation point of view uh, we are the ones deciding what will happen with this technology so, but there are a lot of ethical issues. Uh, there was a great example in Ray Kurzweil's talk, for example, where he said, um, we identified the genome for, for uh, processing fat we eat. So he said, basically, uh, that made sense 30,000 years ago when calories were scarce, but it doesn't make any sense anymore to have this gene switched on now, so maybe we can switch it off. And what I liked about this statement, it's just so on this balance that on one hand uh, it will enable you to cure uh, diseases, for example, but on the other hand uh, it will also do things, if they are out there, humans will use them, and I don't think it would be good if it is used. What haven't we talked about, about the future that you think is important? Um, that's a tough one. <laughs> I don't really have an answer, I think. Okay, that's mm? fine. Okay. Thank you. That was it. Great.